What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you three different ways to hold the harmonica. Alright, so what we're going to do today is to look at three different grip styles for holding your harmonica. For each of the styles, I'm going to show you first how to hold it with one hand, uh, if it's even possible to hold it with just one hand. Then I'm going to show you how to bring in the second hand for uh, muting and for wahing. I'm going to show you exactly how to do those and also flutters. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to bring in a microphone, both a bullet mic and a stick mic, uh, into the grip style. And as we go through each uh, style of holding the harmonica, I'm going to talk about what each one is sort of good for and what it's not good for. Uh, each one will give you the ability to get a slightly different tone, especially for muting and whying, and will uh, potentially be more or less comfortable, especially for bringing in the microphone. Uh, and it's important to get all three of these grips, I think, into your arsenal because it gives you a lot of tonal variation. And you may find that you like one better than the other, which is totally fine, uh, but it's also nice to change things up once in a while. So. I'm going to start with the grip that you probably are already at least a little bit familiar with, and that is the reference standard grip. And essentially what that is, is with your left hand, you're going to form a sort of C shape with your thumb and your forefinger, and into that C shape, you are going to insert the harmonica, like this. Then, you're going to bring your middle finger either down sort of slightly on top of and behind your uh, pointer finger with the other two fingers sort of forming a megaphone, or you can bring the middle finger down behind the harmonica to sort of help wedge it in place. And this is what that looks like when you're looking at it from your perspective, uh, looking right at the harmonica. All right, to bring in the second hand, what you're gonna do is to take your right hand and form a sort of cup like you're, like you're the queen and you're waving, right, to your fans during a parade. Uh, and what you're going to do is to bring that around to the back of the harmonica, placing your thumb right on the outside uh, corner of the harmonica. And that is going to form a sort of fulcrum for you to open and close your harmonica, uh, your hand. This is what that looks like looking from your perspective as you hold the harmonica. And that's it. This is what it sounds like with uh, just uh, one hand grip with the megaphone version, sort of your fingers above. That's the two draw. This is what it sounds like when you drop below just a little bit. You can mute out the sound just a little bit. Here's what it sounds like in a full mute with the right hand. Here's what the wah sounds like. And here is the flutter, where you can use your fulcrum really fast. Or you can actually totally uh, take your hand off and on the harmonica. That's one of the advantages of this uh, reference standard position. You can get that really fast flutter. And that is one of the sort of quintessential sounds of this style of holding the harmonica. Let's talk about how to incorporate a microphone. Let's start with a bullet-shaped mic. This is my DIY bullet-style harmonica. You can check out my videos of how to make this kind of uh, microphone yourself pretty easily. Um, the only way to do this is to fit it behind the harmonica in your uh, left hand, right? So your sort of uh, pinky and ring finger are what's holding the microphone in this style. Um, you can play it like this, opened, and you'll get a sort of thinner sound uh, when you go amplified. You can bring your right hand around again with your thumb sort of on the, the edge of the harmonica here. And you're going to try your best to seal up the bottom uh, as best you can. Uh, and that's how you get a full tight uh, cup. Now, this is pretty easy. You can still get some nice wah sounds. That's a really good sort of plus again for this grip style. But one of the problems, especially with the bullet mic, is that there's often a gap right down here. To bring in a stick mic uh, can be a little bit um, easier, 
all right? Uh, this one sits, fits a little bit easier into those two same two fingers like this, and your um, right hand grip uh, definitely covers more of the back and you can get a sort of more overdriven sound. So this grip I like personally uh, better when playing with a, a stick mark, uh, mic, especially like this Electro Voice 626 that I have here. So small stick mic. Let's move on to the second style of holding the harmonica. And this is what I like to call the thumbs up grip. This is a grip popularized by Adam Gusso from Modern Blues Harmonica. Let's start uh, by holding it actually in our right hand. So this is different from a reference standard. And what you'll see is I essentially have the harmonica uh, just sort of pinched with my thumb, with my forefinger over the top like that, and against my middle finger, just like this, right? So my thumb is actually pointing up when you're looking at it. This is what the single-handed grip looks like from your perspective looking down at the harmonica. To bring the second hand in there, you actually make that same sort of cupping, waving, you know, the queen waving at her fans uh, uh, with your left hand this time, and you bring it uh, so that instead of the, the thumb being on the outside, like reference standard, you instead are getting the, the front corner, um, the left front corner, into the crook of where your thumb meets your palm, sort of right where your, uh, I don't know if that's your lifeline or your love line or whatever, um, is, right there, so that your thumb is actually a little bit um, on the front side of the harmonica like this, and then you bring your hand around, and in fact, I often open up my my right hand just a little bit with my left hand though going across the top. So uh, if you look at it from your perspective you can see definitely the two thumbs up uh, grip position like this. All right, um, I like to use this actually for playing just open with one hand. Um, I'm blocking probably the 10 hole uh, so if you play up in the high end, it's a little tough, but I can definitely play up to the 8th and nine hole without too much of a problem. Uh, and it gives a nice, free, clear sound with no interference from your hands at all. This is the two-hole draw. And one really cool advantage of doing this is for shakes, actually. So this is a really cool tone. If you like doing shakes, um, the single-handed thumbs up grip is really easy to do shakes. In fact, it's still easy to do it with the two-sided grip too. Because you're using your right hand to sort of just push back and forth and you're sort of flexing against your, um, your left hand. Um, in terms of doing wahs, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, oh, I should play the mute sound first. So open and then muted. And you can actually focus the sound um, outwards with this grip too by creating a sm small pocket. And then the wah sounds like this. And the flutter is a little bit more difficult, but you can do it. I find it more awkward to do the flutter that way. One of the real big benefits of this particular grip is how to incorporate the microphone. That sort of hole that you can make like this is a real perfect place to insert the microphone. Um, and especially with a big bullet mic uh, like this, I'll put it the right way like that, it fits in really nicely into the back and you can see you can more easily seal off the bottom of the microphone uh, with this particular grip. And you can get a real fat, overdriven tone uh, when you do it this way. With a stick mic, you can also do that. Uh, uh, it's definitely possible. I actually find reference standard a little easier to work with a stick mic than um, the thumbs up grip. So for me, this is really for like a, a bullet mic or maybe a big ball head or something like that. Although your experience may differ, right? So it's definitely useful to try and incorporate this style of grip especially into your amplified playing. All right, so now we're to down to the last, final, and third grip style, and I call this the megaphone grip style. Uh, this is popularized or actually taught to me by Dan Kaplan, who's a wonderful harmonica player out of Austin, Texas. 
And this one, it's really difficult, almost impossible to hold the harmonica in just one hand. So this is really just a two-handed grip. And it's very difficult to show it on camera. So hopefully this perspective plus the looking down perspective will give you everything you need. But essentially what you're doing is creating a sort of U-shape, an upwards U-shape with your right hand, and then turning the wrist out as if you put it up to your mouth and you're shouting, hey, you know, echo, echo, echo across, you know, the Alps or whatever, like you're Heidi, right? And the harmonica sort of goes into the crook of your um, ring and pinky fingers, um, just sort of the knuckles, the middle knuckle right there. And that's sort of all that's holding it on the right hand side. It's sort of floating up like this. Um, your left hand creates uh, the same waving, queen waving at her fans uh, uh, formation as with the other, um, the sort of thumbs up grip. And in fact, you put the corner of the harmonica in the same exact place. So your right hand, or so your left hand is exactly like the thumbs up grip, but your right hand is turned upwards. Instead of the thumb being back here, the thumb is actually way over um, at the, basically at the other end of the harmonica near the one hole draw. So you can kind of hold it like this and bring your other hand in there, or you can hold it like this and then bring it up and let go. Um, but what you'll see is that the uh, left hand forms a complete and total seal across the back of the harmonica. And this U shape here, which will be easier looking at it from your perspective, well, it looks like this from your perspective, fits right over your mouth, sort of down around your chin like a chin strap. And what's really cool is that it really mutes out um, all the, the back of the harmonica. So um, I'll play it first open like this. So you can use the fulcrum like that. And then I'll show you the muted sound. So open two hole drop. So for me, for my money, that is the best wah sound, the best mute sound that you can get um, between all three of the grips. Uh, and I really love this uh, style for uh, acoustic playing, acoustic blues playing, where I want to do that. You can get a real beautiful um, tonal variation when you do that. Um, it's a little difficult for me to play higher up on the harmonica, so I like to play this down, especially in second position, or uh, basically up anywhere to about the six hole, I can play pretty well. If you tongue block out of the right side of your mouth, you can go more easily up the harmonica. I personally do most, uh, most of my playing with the lip block, or lip purse if you want to call it that. So for me, it's a little difficult to go high up the harp with this style of grip. This grip is very difficult for me to incorporate a microphone, um, but it is possible. With a bullet microphone, it's really difficult. It's just too big, but you can fit it in there. You can see I have the U shape here like that. It's a lot easier for me to incorporate um, the, uh, well, basically the stick mic in the same uh, uh, way I would do it with the reference standard. I just sort of curl my pinky and ring finger around it and then I get my grip in there like this. It's harder to get a nice perfect seal across the back perhaps uh, when doing this. Um, so I often, in fact I almost never incorporate a, a microphone that way into this particular grip. I play to a microphone on a stand. So that was three interesting grips. Uh, maybe you knew about all three of them. Maybe you only knew about one or two of them. Uh, but as you probably hopefully have uh, seen by this time in the video, they're, they're really interesting variations uh, of sound possible with each of these three grips. Uh, they're not, I would say neither one of the three is the perfect grip. You may find one of them easier for you. You may find that you like the tones that you can get out of one of them better than the other uh, two. Or you may find them to have just an interesting tonal palette that you might want to vary depending on how you feel like playing on a given situation. That's my approach to using these grips. Uh, I haven't specialized in any one of the three. 
I tend to play uh, the megaphone version when I'm doing acoustic. I tend to play the thumbs up version when I'm playing mic'd or amped. And reference standard, I also play sometimes when I do acoustic because I like that uh, really nice flutter sound that you can get. Um, and sometimes when I'm just playing without any need for mutes or for any kind of flutters, I just use the single handed thumbs up version like this because it's really easy, right? Especially when I'm practicing fast runs or something like that. I hope you found this video informative, that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like, uh, leave a comment to let me know any thoughts. If you have a different kind of grip, I'd love to hear about it. Or if you have any variations on these, I'd certainly like to hear about that as well. And if you find these videos interesting, please subscribe so that you don't miss any new ones. Catch you on the flip side.